Instead of inquiring why the Roman Empire was destroyed, we should rather be surprised that it had subsisted so long. Phrases like, Rome fell not because it lacked military might, but because it lacked moral fortitude, or the most worthless of mankind are not afraid to condemn in others the same disorders which they allow in themselves, are in the heart of the fall of Rome. Edward Gibbons, The History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, is a cornerstone of historical writing. This history, nonfiction, classic, ancient history and politics, published in six volumes between 1776 and 1789, it stands as a testament to the ambition and brilliance of its author. Gibbon meticulously chronicles over a millennium of Roman history, from the height of its power to its eventual collapse. Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time. So, grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. This book is more than just a dry recounting of dates and battles. Gibbon masterfully weaves together political intrigue, military campaigns, religious upheaval, and cultural shifts. He delves into the complex tapestry of factors that contributed to Rome's decline. With eloquent prose and a keen eye for detail, Gibbon paints a vivid portrait of a civilization in flux. He explores the internal weaknesses that gnawed at the empire's foundations. Gibbon's work remains a classic, offering valuable insights into the cyclical nature of power, the complexities of civilization, and the enduring legacy of ancient Rome. The Roman Empire, at its zenith, was a sight to behold. It stretched from the British Isles in the north to the Sahara Desert in the south, encompassing a vast swathe of Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. This sprawling empire was bound together by a network of roads, aqueducts, and cities that were marvels of engineering. Rome's legions were renowned for their discipline, organization, and effectiveness. They were the backbone of the empire, enforcing Roman law and maintaining order across its vast territories. Roman law itself was a masterpiece of jurisprudence, forming the basis of legal systems in many parts of the world today. Roman culture, heavily influenced by the Greeks, flourished during this period. Literature, philosophy, art and architecture reached new heights. The Romans excelled in engineering, constructing impressive buildings, roads and aqueducts that still stand today as testaments to their ingenuity. At its peak, the Roman Empire represented the pinnacle of power, organization and cultural achievement in the ancient world. It seemed as though this mighty empire would last forever. Despite its outward appearance of strength and grandeur, the Roman Empire was not invincible. Beneath the surface of its golden age lurked a host of problems that would eventually contribute to its downfall. One of the most significant internal issues was the growing disparity between the rich and the poor. As the empire expanded, wealth poured into Rome, but it was concentrated in the hands of a small elite. The gap between the wealthy ruling class and the impoverished masses widened, leading to social unrest and instability. This economic inequality was exacerbated by rampant corruption within the government. The Roman political system, once a model of efficiency, became increasingly corrupt and inefficient. Succession crises, political assassinations and civil wars became commonplace, weakening the empire from within. Moral decay also set in, with emperors known for their extravagance, cruelty and lack of concern for the common good. These internal problems like termites gnawing at the foundations of a mighty structure, gradually weakened the empire from within. The Roman Empire, once a beacon of power and prosperity, was becoming increasingly vulnerable to both internal strife and external threats. As internal problems weakened the Roman Empire from within, external pressures mounted. Beyond the empire's borders, a new threat was emerging, the so-called barbarians. These were various Germanic, Gothic, and Hunnic tribes who lived on the fringes of Roman territory. The barbarian tribes, driven by a variety of factors including population pressures and the Huns' westward expansion, began to exert increasing pressure on the Roman frontiers. The Roman legions, once the undisputed masters of warfare, found themselves hard-pressed to contain these fierce warriors. The Roman military, weakened by years of internal strife and economic troubles, was no longer the formidable force it once was. The legions, increasingly reliant on foreign mercenaries, lacked the discipline and loyalty of their predecessors. Furthermore, the Roman government, plagued by corruption and instability, struggled to effectively respond to the growing threat. The barbarian invasions were not merely a military conflict, they represented a clash of cultures and ways of life. The Roman Empire, once seemingly invincible, was now facing an existential threat from these determined adversaries. 
A House Divided, The Split That Sealed the Western Empire's Fate In 286 CE, Emperor Diocletian divided the Roman Empire into two halves. The Western Roman Empire, with its capital in Rome, governed the West. The Eastern Roman Empire, with its capital in Constantinople, ruled the East. Diocletian's division aimed to make the empire more manageable, but it also deepened existing divisions. The Eastern Empire thrived while the Western Empire struggled. The split hastened the fall of the West. The Eastern Empire, later the Byzantine Empire, preserved Roman culture. The Fall of the West The 5th century CE witnessed the relentless decline of the Western Roman Empire. The Visigoths sacked Rome in 410 CE, a symbolic event. In 476 CE, Romulus Augustulus was deposed, marking the end of the Western Roman Empire. This signaled the beginning of the Middle Ages, a period of transformation in Europe. The enduring legacy of Rome, echoes of greatness in the modern world. The Western Roman Empire fell in the 5th century CE, but its legacy shapes the world today. Roman law, language, architecture, and political thought have left an indelible mark on Western civilization. Roman achievements continue to inspire awe and wonder. The Roman Empire's contributions are a testament to the enduring power of ideas. Edward Gibbon's The History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire remains a monumental achievement in historical writing. Its enduring relevance stems from several factors. First, Gibbon's meticulous research and attention to detail set a new standard for historical scholarship. Second, his engaging narrative style characterized by vivid descriptions, insightful analysis and a touch of irony makes his work accessible and compelling for readers even today. Third, Gibbon's exploration of the complex interplay of factors that contributed to Rome's decline offers valuable lessons for understanding the rise and fall of civilizations throughout history. Gibbon's work is not without its critics. Some have accused him of bias against Christianity, while others have questioned his interpretation of certain historical events. However, the history of the decline and fall of the Roman Empire remains an essential text for anyone seeking to understand the Roman Empire and its enduring legacy. Learning from the Fall, a timeless tale of power and decline. The story of the Roman Empire, from its humble beginnings to its eventual collapse, is a tale that continues to resonate with us today. It is a story of ambition, power, glory, but also of hubris, decay and decline. Gibbon's masterpiece serves as a stark reminder that even the most powerful empires are not immune to the forces of history. By studying the factors that contributed to Rome's downfall, we can gain valuable insights into the challenges facing our own societies today. From economic inequality and political corruption, to the rise of extremism and the threats posed by climate change, the parallels between the Roman experience and our own time are striking. As we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, we would do well to heed the lessons of the past. The fall of the Roman Empire reminds us that no civilization, no matter how great, is invincible. By understanding the mistakes of the past, we can strive to build a more just, equitable, and sustainable future for all. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encouraged us to create more summaries, comments, and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.